Hey, what's up guys? I am Joe from Workbench, and today we're gonna to talk about how to make Fauk text. All right, so this week we're gonna learn how to make this faux text right here. Okay, so let's jump right into this document. All right, so initially I actually had this set up like the uh, technique I used in the graphs and text tutorial, which is way back in tutorial nine, but the client wanted the blocks to actually look like words with breaks in between them. So I had to figure out a good way to do that. So what I came up with actually uses a text animator, which is kind of interesting because you're actually using real text to make fake text. I made a preset of this for you guys, but let me show you how it works. First, I'm gonna turn off what the actual animator looks like. And you can see this is actually what the text looks like right here. It's just a series of the pipe character, which is actually that little vertical line that's probably on your backslash key. So the most important thing is that we actually go to more options right here. And you notice I have this grouping alignment set to negative 20% on the X. And if we click on that, and move it a little bit, you can see that it puts little X's here. And what that does, since we have this anchor point grouping set to character, is move the anchor point to the left side of each one of these pipe characters. Since we're gonna be scaling in the X direction, we only want this to go to the right. So putting the anchor point on the left side, make sure that scaling stretches everything to the right. Okay, so let's close that up and let's open up the animator. So the first thing you might notice is that this has an expression selector. We're gonna open that up and open up the amount right here. And here's our expression. We're using seed random, we're setting the seed to be text index. We're setting it to true, which means that every frame, we're not gonna recalculate the randomness. So it'll be static. Then we just pick a random value between 30 and 100. And that's gonna set the amount that each one of these pipe characters is selected. So since the amounts that they're selected are different, when we scale them, they're gonna be scaled differently. So here we're just scaling on the X 3,500%. And then you'll see that our animator controls tracking. We have this set to after for the tracking type. And then the tracking amount right here changes the gaps between the words. So if a higher number will mean a larger gap and more gaps that are visible and a smaller number will mean smaller gaps and less gaps are visible. So I'm gonna set that back to 23. You're gonna have to modify that based on your application. You can also set the tracking type to before and maybe set it around like 16 to get a different look. All right, so let's zoom out. The cool thing about this is that you can easily add more stuff by just adding more pipes to each line. I'm just gonna go to the end of the line or even the beginning, it doesn't really matter. Add some more lines in. Then I'm actually just copy this line because every one of these is random. I can just go to a new line, paste in all of those pipe characters again, and every line will still be random. You can skip a line or two if you want a paragraph. I'm just pasting a bunch in. It's taking a second to update it. All right. The cool thing, too, is that you can actually keyframe source text if you want to actually have these things draw on. All right, so let me open up a new comp real quick, and we'll just call this text. All right, I'm going to click in here to add a text layer. I'm going to deselect it and reselect it. And I'm gonna open up my effects and presets window, find wherever you put faux text, double click that, I'm gonna close that window back, double click on my text layer so that it's editable again, and I'm gonna start typing some pipe characters. So yours might not actually look like mine. And that's because you're probably using a different font. Like if you're using something like Helvetica because you're boring and it's 2008, you're gonna have to change the setting up in here. So we're gonna hit UU to bring up all the stuff that I have changed. I'm gonna make this text a little bigger so that it's easier to see what we're doing. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to change is this grouping alignment. And as long as you're left justified over here, your goal is to make sure that all of these lines are the same. So we're gonna click on this, we're gonna hold shift, and we're gonna hit up and down until we get closer. All right, so that's closer, now I'm gonna let go of shift, and I'm gonna move it until they're about right. So negative 46% at this size is what that needs to be. So then all you're gonna do after that is change the tracking amount. So there you go, gigantic text with the proper gaps. Obviously, this can be other things that's not just text. And if you play with the scale right here, you can make some interesting things. All right, guys, that's all it takes to make some faux text. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you like what I'm doing, consider checking out my Patreon. And make sure you follow us on Workbench.tv for more great content. I am Joe from Workbench, and if you like Helvetica, I, I was really just kidding. <laughs> See you guys next week. Bye.